All right. So this is going to be a short teaching on the job description of the Messiah. It's actually coming from the book of Mysteries of the Messiah, chapter one. But there are some additional parts that I've added in uh, regarding some research that I've done on restoring the Vav. The Vav, the Vav, V-A-V. It's a Hebrew letter in the alphabet, uh, the Hebrew alphabet, but it's a very, very important letter. And it's going to help give revelation and understanding to what the blood of Jesus, what Christ did for us to restore us back to the original plan, intentions, and the heart of the Father. All right. So, whoops, wrong. Let me get this. Okay. When we talk about redemption, you've got to get hold of this word. And this word is to redeem. And it's this Hebrew word, ga'el, and it means to purchase back. But the biblical redeem word for redemption is really large. It's wide. It's very deep. So a lot of times we think of the we we think about the blood forgiving sins, and that's exactly right. It has forgiven sins, but it's also restored us, and it's restored us back to the original design of the Father, and that's what we're going to talk about today. But the original design of the Father included both the spiritual and the physical aspects of our lives, because all of us are on a physical earth, and we do physical things, and God told us to occupy until He returns, and that's including the earth, redeeming the earth. The earth is where we get our food from. It's where we get our resources from. It's where we get, it's where rain comes down from heaven. What does it do? It waters the earth to do what? To spring forth, spring forth provision for us. So when we talk about redemption, it's it's a full measure of redemption, uh, spiritually and physically. All right. This is a really important uh, word in Colossians, because this helps show you what Christ gave to us and what we stole from him. And as a lawyer, I think in these terms, because I, 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 I'm always seeing myself advocating for the Lord. We are all ambassadors for Christ, but as a lawyer inside me, I'm thinking of always advocating for Jesus and what happened to him versus what happened to us. And so Colossians is a really good scripture that shows what he did for himself. And then we're going to see what we did uh, to him. So it says in Colossians, it says, for by him, all things were created that are in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. Now look at this. All things were created through Christ, through him and for Christ. Everything was created through him and for him. And he's before all things and in him, everything consists. It's held together. So everything that is made, that is created, that is formed, that we see and don't see was, was formed for Christ, through Christ, by Christ, and it's held together by him. All right. It goes on, it says, it pleased the father that in him all the fullness should dwell and by him to reconcile all things to himself, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of the cross. All right. So this is what Jesus did. All right. So here's when Adam sinned, here's what happened. All right. So when Adam sins, all things that were created in heaven, on earth, visible and invisible thrones, dominions, principalities, and powers, all things now were breached. They were breached because of sin. And sin, just give an example, as, 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 like a virus in a computer, it infected the created order that Jesus had made, that God had made. So all of the created order got infected by the virus of sin. And as a result, it corrupted, it corrupted the created order of God. So all Christ made for himself, for his glory, for his, for his pleasure, for his likeness, everything, man, beast, earth, everything was subjected to the virus. So Adam's sin stole from God. And we don't always think about that, but that's exactly what sin did. It took from God and it subjected everything God had created to a curse of death. Instead of it having life, it now had a curse of death. But the good news is this. The good news is that Christ came, the second Adam, and he bought back what he already owned. So he originally owned it, originally created it, originally gave it. And now he gave his life to now buy everything back. So it could be for him, his pleasure and his glory. 
So that's why when we give our lives to the Lord, we're saying all for your glory, all for your glory, all for your pleasure, because it's all owned by God. And so his blood, his sacrifice on the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection reconciled everything that he originally owned. He bought it back for himself to the glory of God, everything. And I remember years ago when I was writing the book on divine restoration, I have a vision. And in the vision, I saw an arm and I knew it was God's arm. And I saw a vial of blood next to his arm. And I said, Lord, what that blood, that's a vial of your blood. And he said, yes. And I want you to take it. And I want you to see what my blood is made of. In other words, there is a lot more to the blood and the power of the blood and the content of the divine blood of God than we had understanding for. And so today we're going to talk about what the blood, what the cross did, what the death, burial, and resurrection did to restore us back to God. And we're going to use the word, the Hebrew word, of Vav, V-A-V. God vav everything, all right? So he restored everything. Vav is a connector word, and we're going to see that how it connects heaven and earth. So it's a Hebrew letter. It's the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet and, and Hebrew alphabets have numericals. Uh, the, the letters have numbers to them. And the number six is also the number of man. We see the sixth Hebrew word in Genesis is a vav. So we always go back to the beginnings where something began to look at what its content is. And so it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the vav is the earth. That and is a vav. It's a connector. And in Jewish thought, the, the letter Bob, or I mean, the, 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 yeah, the letter Bob connects heaven and earth together. It's the connecting force. It's like a divine hook that binds heaven and earth together. All right. So why is Bob important? Because what happened was, is that when man sinned, all the Bob's got broken. All the connectors between heaven and earth were broken. All right. So we have the so we have man being the number of six, and he is also represented as Bob, the letter six, and he's the one that broke the connector. He broke the Bob. All right. So the Bob is a tent peg. It looks like a tent peg, but it also is a connector. And in the Hebrew uh, teaching and thought, it's it's a curtain. It's connecting a curtain in the tabernacle to be fastened by post with a silver hook. That's called a vav. So the vav, the connector in the tabernacle, was the curtain connected to the post in the tabernacle. Since the tabernacle was fastened by post by a silver hook, the scribes then made a column text in each of the Torah scrolls. So if you look at a Torah scroll, each column all right, of the scroll, it begins with the letter Vav because they consider that the letter Vav connects the Torah scroll to the words of the scroll. So they see it as a connector, very, very important connector. And when you don't have this connector, you're disconnected from God. All right. So Vav is this prefix. It's a conjunction. It connects words, phrases, thoughts, and links spiritual things. All right. And here it is linking heaven and earth, man and God. So when sin came, man broke a divine connector. So let's look at some things he broke. He broke the vob between heaven and earth. He broke a spiritual vob and a natural vob as connecting us spiritually and naturally. The vob between man and God, the connector in relationships between man and man, woman and man, children and their parents. Right. Man and even animals in heaven, animals are not going to be the, the, the fierce, hungry uh, 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 eaters that they are here. We can, a lion can lay down with a lamb, right? So there was a disconnect, a broken bob. And then, of course, the Jew and the Gentile. There's always been enmity between the Jew and the Gentile, the Gentile being considered unclean by the Jew, but God reconciled this one in Christ. But that's because there was a reconciliation of a bob, the connector. All right. And then we have genetic issues, right? Uh, uh, things going on in our bodies that are a result of generational things. Our, our genetic connectors were broken. The vav in the earth and in the heavens were broken. Everything that man, everything sin tainted broke the connection to God. 
All right, so here is man with the vav, and here's man without the vav. Let me look for a moment with the broken vav on the right. We we know from Revelations, uh, we at the before the Lord returns, there will be a a man, fully a man that is called the Antichrist, and his number represents six six six. And then that whenever you see a six three times, excuse me, whenever you see words or numbers three times, it's to the fullest degree. So when you see holy, 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 it means the fullest degree of holy. And here, the reason it's 666, it really means the, the fullest extent of the vob being broken, the fullest extent of a separation from God. And so that's what the earth will look like before the Lord's return. And, and it's all disconnected from God. No spiritual connection to God. All man doing what he wants to do. And I thought of uh, this artificial intelligence. It has a physical body, but it has no spiritual connection to God. And it also represents humanism, right? Where, where, where it's just doing the things that we believe in our own minds and hearts are right, totally disconnected from God. I think of the Tower of Babel in the Old Testament when they said, let us build uh, 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 up to heaven really doing whatever they wanted in their own eyes. And the reason for that is because the Bob, the, sp the spiritual connector has, has, has been decidedly and intentionally broken. And, and there's a word that I wanted you to look at. It's called transgression. And we see it in the scriptures and it's a Hebrew word, Pasha. And it really means to break out and break away from and revolt against. That's what the broken vav is. It's someone, it's breaking away from God and intentionally, essentially breaking out and breaking away and say, I do not want this connection anywhere in my life. All right. But the restored vav is what God is doing to his church right now. And he's giving revelation in the body of Christ of all things being restored because in Acts it says before the Lord returns, all things will be restored. That's why we're seeing more revelations about things of restoration right now. Restoration, our, restoring our genetics, restoring what the blood bought, restoring land, restoring hands, restoring bodies, minds, restoring families. Why? Because before the Lord returns, he said there'll be a restoration of all things. And that will also be connected uh, primarily with Israel, the connection of the Jew, the covenant roots of our faith, connection um, of, of, of the Jew and the Gentile becoming one in Christ. So this Bob is a really important understanding because as before the Lord returns, all of our Bobs will be restored, meaning a revelation that we're going to walk out of a restoration to our father to, to each other, to the land, to our brothers and sisters that are Jewish, to our consciousness, everything that was lost in the fall, we have a generation that can get it back. And that's the restoring of the Vav. And I found this really interesting on something that I read. It said, it said that there is a, there's an oversized Vav, that means a, a larger Vav that marks the center of the Torah in Leviticus 11.42, the word in which the vav, that, extra, that larger oversized vav is in the center of the Torah, occurs in the word gakon, gakon, and it means belly. And I thought that's really interesting because when the vav is restored, the belly of the earth would be restored, meaning that's where everything we get from the, our physical provision comes from, specifically for our calling and purposes of the Lord in our lives, our provision, our health, our food, all the physical parts come from the earth. So it's interesting that when the vav is restored, the belly of the earth is restored. I love that. And can't you envision now when the vav is restored that when you're working and you're working with your hands and what God is giving you to do in the earth, it's no longer fighting against you, but now the belly of the earth is bringing forth provision for you. Yes, the connector with heaven and earth being restored. All right. So in this scripture in Isaiah, God, it says that Christ, he's wounded for our transgressions. So we just saw that word transgression means breaking away or breaking out or revolting against God. It's really important. The cross specifically says in Isaiah that God was pierced. He was pierced 
for the transgression, for the breaking of the Bob. Christ was pierced for the breaking of the Bob. His piercing restored the Bob to us, restored us back to the intention of the Father. So now can you see why God, I mean, by why Satan would be intentional, intentional and focused on keeping us ignorant and disconnecting us from the fullness of Christ's redemption expressed in our life? Because when we get hold of this understanding, then we're going to understand, then we're going to understand and start walking in this fullness. And guess what? The Bible says that, that the earth groans for the revealing of the sons and daughters of God. That's you. And that's I earth is groaning for the revealing. And so God wants us to come into the full stature and the knowledge of him, which includes this full restoration. So I put this on here because the Vav restores our spiritual root connection with our, our roots. Our roots are the Jewish people, are, are the Torah, are the, the connection between the Old Testament and the New. And that's why when we're going through this book, Mysteries of the Messiah, Rabbi Jason Sobel is connecting our lineage, connecting the lineage, the root system to us. And when that happens, here's what happened. Our eyes get open on a deeper level. There is transformation and there is restoration to the fullest extent. Because we have to be connected to our Jewish roots and our Jewish roots need to be connected to us. We They hold us up, but we need them and they need us. We need each other and we're one in the Messiah. So as I close, I want to show you something really neat I read yesterday. I read this in, in Hebrew for Christians, but I really liked this when it was talking about the Vav. It said, when God created generations, that word in Genesis, where it's first found in Genesis 2, 4, it says of the heavens and the earth, the word used is this toldot. It, that's the word used, all right? In reference to generations in gener, generation, uh, Genesis 2, 4, it means the created order before sin. So the created before order before sin, that word is used of generations. And in it, in it, there's a vav, all right? But after sin, after man sinned, that same exact word is spelled differently. And it's spelled, first time it's spelled with two vavs. The second time after sin, it's missing one letter and it's missing the vav. And every time thereafter, until we get to Ruth, where Ruth and Boaz are in Ruth 4.18, it's missing a vav. So before the fall, that word generations had two vobs in it. After the fall, it, it removed in the, in the Torah writings, the, the Tanakh, it had only one vob in it. So it was spelled missing something and it was called lost until in Ruth 4.18, and they give genealogy, you know, a lot, several books of the Bible talk about the genealogy, the genealogy of things. Well, this is in this phrase in Ruth 418, it says, these are the generations of Perez. All right. Perez is, is one of the links to bring us to the Messiah. In this text, the missing Vav is now restored. So it, it was restored in this genealogy, knowing that Christ would come from David and David would bring forth the Messiah. And that is the genealogy that restored the Vav, restored the generations, the restored our genealogy. This is an abbreviated version of the lineage of Christ from Judah to Perez. There, there are other fathers in between, but we have Boaz and Ruth and we have King David and Messiah. This, this is a abbreviated lineage, but this is where the Bob was restored at Perez. So what's this connection? The Perez, the word, the, the last name Perez means breach. It means breach. It comes from that word Peraz, which means to break through. So what we see is in this family, God broke through to restore order back to creation. And that order back to creation, that restored Vav is the picture of the Messiah who would come from the lineage of Judah down through the lineage and through the generations of Perez. And he would be the one that would break 
through the gates of death and Hades and hell and this broken vav and restore the vav back, restore the generations back, restore creation back to its original intent. And so, my friends, that is the significance of a restored vav. And that is what Christ did for you and me. And so I want to encourage you to take this teaching and take these words and start proclaiming them in the spirit over your life that God has restored your vav. He has restored you to heaven. He is, the blood has restored the earth to you. The blood has restored relationships to you. That the vav in your life is restored. The connector is restored. Your conscience is restored because of the blood of the Lamb of God. Amen and amen.